This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. So, I'm sure you've probably heard about it, but this month, Mod Shawnee's working on some buff bar improvements. If you haven't heard about it, basically, he's adding a whole bunch of new icons and new buffs and debuffs to the buff debuff bar as well as splitting the buffs and debuffs into two separate bars you're gonna be able to attract a whole bunch of new stuff that you weren't able to previously but i want to get into something slightly more specific specifically he's adding crackling to your bar now this actually has one big implication to it i'm sure most of you know if you do virago or araxor be a little bit more specific when they do their reflect and web shield respectively i'm sure some of you have come across this where crackling goes off and you take or your teammates take unneeded damage now I know you could easily just unequip the item or swap out the item that has crackling on it and avoid this altogether but the reality of it is most people won't even do that that's just a reality of it I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just saying most people won't unequip the item statistically speaking your crackling is not gonna go off on a reflect or a web shield more often than it won't go won't go off so the odds of crackling proc during a web shield or reflect are much much lower than it not proccing so taking off your armor that has crackling on it every time there is a web shield or reflect is statistically impractical so most people don't do it it'd be wise to but you know i don't either so i'm not judging on top of that it's not that big of a deal to just tank the crackling hit so that's also why most people don't even bother with taking off the armor that has crackling so what Mod Shani is doing is when he puts it on the buff bar, you'll now know beyond a shadow of doubt whether you need to take off your armor or not. This doesn't prevent crackling from proccing. It just gives you an indicator. If it, It'll tell you when crackling is on cooldown and cannot proc. So as long as that negative buff is on your bar, you know 100% you do not need to take off crackling, which is really good to know. That helps people who really do switch during a reflect. They'll know beyond a shadow of doubt that that they will or will not need to switch for that particular reflect or web shield etc which is really good to hear so long as it's on your negative buff bar it's on cooldown it's not gonna proc if it's not there though at any moment it can proc so it's at those times people willing to switch out their armor should do so which actually makes me want to be somebody like i said previously i don't even bother switching but now that i know exactly when i should be switching i might actually bring a switch I don't know. Let me know if this changes up your playstyle in any way, shape, or form. Let me know what you think about crackling, procking off on reflect mechanics in general. Let me know if you think this is actual solution, if it helps at all, if you're happy about it, if you don't really care. Just sound off below. Anyways, that's it for me, dogs. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then you're already at the right channel. So hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out, my dog. So peace. Audio